What's up Nitro Gang? This is the newest issue of Radio Control Car Action Magazine, February 2021. Good fucking morning! I subscribe to it just so I can review it in my own extreme Nitro Gang way, baby. In the last video, I had no choice but to burn this in my grill in the damn barbecue. I poured nitro fuel all over the magazine and I lit this piece of trash on fire. In this video, I will do exactly the same thing. This has to meet one qualification, one goal. That is all I ask for, guys. I am being extremely reasonable in my extreme review of this February issue. All I want to see is at least one gas or nitro RC review in this magazine. I'll even take a little bit of an advertisement. I don't even need to see a whole damn review, just one. In fact, right here, I have one of the most amazing HPIs ever made. You've seen this in my video. This is the HPI Super Nitro RS4, baby, like new. 15 FE engine, look at that purple cooling head, it's amazing, look at that purple chassis, it's also super amazing. Notice my stand here, that's right, I got myself a brand new MacBook Air, baby. This is the brand new one, the one with uh, Apple Silicon, so they're using the new M1 processor. Apparently, it uses very, very little power, and it beats even the best Intel i9 processors. A lot of people say, oh, Mac this, Mac that, well, you know what? They're innovators. They don't need to quote specs to produce terrific products. They make things that last. For my videos, I've been using this 2015 MacBook Air. This was like a $750 computer when I bought it on sale. And guys, I have not had a single shutdown, not had a single issue, absolutely nothing wrong with it. This is six years old. Chances are this entire video will be processed and edited on this brand new computer. Now the problem I've been having with my older outgoing model is they get hot when I'm editing video. Now keep in mind I'm only recording 1080 and you really don't need any more than that. My goal is just to get the material out, you know, make Nitro great again, showcase some cool vintage HPIs. I'm not trying to make state of the art RC stuff here and then like have clickbait videos. Um, the thumbnail you're gonna see in this video is literally gonna be a picture from this video. That's all I gotta tell you. The Nitro Gang, we don't gotta lie. When you walk around, and sometimes I actually walk around with this, I'll put this like on the dash of my Prius and go to the drive-thru. You guys should try it. Roll up in the damn uh, drive-thru, Wendy's, go wherever you wanna go. Put yourself a nice Nitro on your dash, order up some uh, food, you're gonna have a good day. In fact, your food might even taste better. Now. Let's go through this page by page, and once again, I'm gonna say, if I don't see a single gas or nitro RC in here, it is seriously gonna piss me off. In fact, in the previous magazine, they reviewed an old Traxxas Mini E Revo. You know what, after thinking about it, that's kinda like a jab at the damn Nitro Gang. I'm wondering whether we will see an old electric review in here, and whether they will be trying to pass it off as something new. We're gonna see. If they do that, man, I am not gonna be happy. I'm gonna have to burn this with freaking two blends of nitro, 20% and maybe even 30%. That's what it's gonna take. Let's go through this page by page, February 2021. For some of your uh, alternative entertainment, I've provided a uh, HPI Micro RS4 vintage collectible and a brand new Megatech Neo motor. One of my favorite motors, brand new, never run. That's right, exactly. This is like from the early 2000s, maybe possibly even the 1990s. So it's gonna be right here on the side, just kinda like to motivate myself, you know, because this is uh, probably gonna be the only Nitro item you're gonna see in this whole magazine. Let's go through this. We got a Tamiya on the cover. Don't know anything about this. Looks like a very fancy bagel. Flip the page, we have a Proline ad. They have the best tires, trenchers, uh, phenomenal tires. Power stroke shocks, phenomenal shocks also. So, got nothing bad to say about Proline. Here is the cover page with a Tamiya from the cover. Uh, don't know much about it, let's flip the page. We have some RPM tools. RPM is the best uh, parts manufacturer for upgraded plastic parts. Uh, nothing to say about here. 
Here's a segment called Gearbox, right? It says no RC, no life. So I guess they want you to spend a lot of money on like these upgrades, which are just like tire designs. Don't particularly really care about tire designs, guys. It really comes down to uh, nitro motors just like this. That's what I care about. We have a whole bunch of lines of Traxxas chargers here. I'm also relatively out of date here. They've done as best they can to make sure that they have proprietary connectors. I don't like proprietary connectors. I like Dean's connectors because they work everywhere. They're compact, they're easy to solder, they're cheap. So if it's not a Dean's, it's not for me. Let me put it that way. Dean's for life, baby. Okay, we have some custom painted uh, rat rod designs here. Once again, I really don't care about this, but this is ride of the month. Um, I guess this is kind of like pure irony. If you really think about, you know, you guys hear me talk about, oh, electric this and that. But guys, we got ourselves a damn electric here. Uh, you could tell it's electric because it has a motor, right? A brushless motor here. But they're imitating a gas engine. So yeah, the electrics want to run internal combustion engines. So why don't they just do it? You know what? How about this? There you go, bro. Now, now you're cool. You know, all this paint doesn't really matter. This is just the outside. This is kind of like fake eyelashes on a girl. You know, who cares about fake eyelashes? We care about what's inside there, you know, more or less. Let's continue. We got more fancy bagels. Of course, they're imitating another engine. This is like a trend now in RC where even Armas on the fraction, they keep putting on these fake turbos on top, these superchargers. Guys, just get yourself a damn nitro motor, you know? Uh, you'll be happy. Why are you gonna imitate stuff? Like, th this is just an electric with, with like a fake motor. You know, I mean, I don't even have to make fun of it. This stuff makes fun of itself, if you really think about it. Okay, more electrics. Uh, don't care about this. We have a Tamiya toe clot. So this is just a clod buster. You know, they feel like naming them whatever they want. So the audience and the viewer has no idea what they're talking about. I don't like that kind of stuff. Things have names for a reason, guys. Don't rename your own damn RCs. That's not what this is. Let's continue. We got uh, Traxxas Fortex, some tools. So I guess Traxxas came out with their own line of tools. Maybe one day I'll try them. I don't know. They're probably expensive as everything else, you know. Go figure out just the reality. Okay. We got a Traxxas uh, mat here. Don't particularly care about mats. I work on tables, I work outside, I work in my Prius. Uh, whatever it takes to get the Nitro started. That's where the Nitro gang works. And add to the subscription to this magazine. Actually, you know what? I'll put a link to the subscription through Amazon in the video description. They offer an online subscription, which is super, super cheap. But if you want to get the paper version like I do, so you can burn it later, uh, you know, in support of the Nitro Gang, you guys should do it. I just want to make sure this is not inciting violence towards uh, the RC Car Action Magazine. Because, man, we don't want Twitter to delete my uh, Instagram or Twitter accounts, you know what I'm saying? In case they say I'm inciting violence, if you know who I'm talking about here. We got more Tamiyas on this side. I'm actually looking to pick up one of these like 10 scale Tamiya TT-02 chassis. They're very cheap, but of course you're you're talking about like basic tub chassis designs. There's nothing intricate about them and uh, they're just cheap, but the bodies are cool. I will give Tamiya that. They always had very good attention to detail. I just wish Tamiya would come back into the Nitro uh, segment because the Terra Crusher, the TNX, the Nitrage, that's where it was at, baby. Okay, pit tips. Okay, so they want you to use your uh, electric motor like a magnet. Okay, everybody already knew this. This is not revolutionary. This is not interesting. Everybody knew this other than electric noobs. So I'm not going to say anything else beyond that, but electric noobs didn't know this, okay? Apparently, according to this magazine. The Impala Lowrider from Red Cat, pretty cool, 600 bucks. I made fun of it in the previous RC magazine. This was actually the cover on the last issue that I wound up burning. Let's keep going. And we got the main bagel from the front cover, this Tamiya TC01 Gen 2 formula car. Let's see what it is. It's on road, prices $379. It's a kit, you build it. Uh, personally, I don't really care about bodies at all. Oh, well, actually this is kind of intricate. We have an inboard suspension. Of course, it's full on plastic mode. You know, classic Tamiya, uh, as plastic as possible. 379 for a kit, I don't know, it's a little bit up there. Yeah, you want it, get it. I personally don't want it. I don't find this stuff interesting at all, actually. Let's keep going. Man, they're dedicating like six to 10 pages for this uh, 
cool painted plastic chassis right here. Whoa, how many pages are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Ten pages, guys. Ten pages to this Tamiya. If they dedicated ten pages to a uh, Nitro Tamiya, that'd be pretty interesting. But here, I don't know, uh, this likes limited layout options for electronics. Well, obviously, uh, you know, whatever, true to scale replica body. Okay, once again, personally don't really care about that. Uh, it's cool, it's intricate, how's it gonna drive? Pretty much like any other 10th scale uh, touring car, you know, it's low to the ground. Uh, what do you want me to tell you? We have Brandon Barnes. I guess some race dude, I don't care, man. He wears like a hat with like this flat bill. Don't particularly like hats uh, like that at all. I just don't like it. Yeah, okay. First take. Oh, man. So, a first-timer's look at the Traxxas Slash 4x4. I think they've managed to fully piss me off once again. You could tell they're uh, reviewing what is essentially a nearly 15-year-old design. But I guess they're doing this for the ultimate electric RC new. Because, yeah, you got it right here. A first-timer's look. Now, there's nothing wrong with going back and uh, looking at older RCs, but man, for me, this is this just really isn't interesting. I have a Slash, it's solid, it's reliable, it's one of the best RCs out there, to be honest with you, in the short course segment, as we all know. Let's see, this is 319, so this must not be the VXL. This is, yeah, the regular uh, Titan motor one, so it's a 4x4 four four, uh, Titan. A pretty good starter RC for beginners, you know, for kids, something like that. But sooner or later, you're gonna wind up getting the VXL. In my opinion, it's better to spend a couple more bucks and get the VXL. Otherwise, yeah, they're dedicating... Okay, we're gonna count the pages again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so they got eight pages. It looks like this magazine is sponsored by Traxxas and Tamiya because both of these electrics are dominating what is seemingly a very, very thin magazine as you saw in the beginning when I first started. Okay, likes, all-inclusive, fun to drive, great price durability. And dislikes, are there any? Okay, well, actually, that was pretty funny. Uh, I'll give it that, that was pretty funny. Okay, here we go, The Monster Returns. What the hell is this? Red Cat Kaiju. Okay, well, at least it's an 8th scale. It's a Red Cat. This thing is actually pretty cool. I've seen these. They're very reliable. They have LEDs. They have a cool retro-looking body. I would get one of these. Personally, I just don't particularly need another electric truck. That really is the reality. But these are good trucks for the money, you know. I can't say that it's any worse than, like, a modern arm or anything like that. We got a boat here. Electric also. Don't really care about it. Not much information here. The right start. Looks like we're going to be talking about tools. I think these are MIP tools. Whenever you see these yellow handles, that's usually MIP. In case you're wondering what MIP stands for, let's see if we'll uh, see here. Well, they're probably not going to tell us. MIP stands for Moore's Ideal Products. So some of the best tools for the RC hobby ever. And back in like the early 2000s, late 90s, man, they used to make some great parts. Uh, upgrade parts, CVDs, uh, turnbuckle, stuff like that. What are we talking about? I, I don't even care about this. Like, are they talking about gear mesh? Guys, gear mesh is pretty straightforward. You got to make sure you have good gear mesh. You know, don't make it too loose. Don't make it too tight. It's not that big of a deal. Grease your gears. Okay, well, yeah, the diff gears, you got to apply grease. That goes without saying. Let's keep going. Bug hauler. A custom-built Winnebago hauler and the bug. And again, this is cool. I gotta say it's one of a kind design, build, and very intricate. Probably not something I have the skills to do, but this is not something I would ever want to do. You know, it just it just isn't. Starting a nitro motor like this, that's something I would want to do. And maybe in fact I will. This is a 20-year-old never run motor. You guys can look inside there, the glow plug. You see it's missing. Look at the top of the cylinder. It's shiny, it's brand new, never seen a drop of oil of any kind or nitro fuel. Alright? That's that's the Nitro Gang. That's that's how we live our life. Here they're just basically fabricating stuff. Man, I, I just don't care about this. You know, let's keep going. This is not something anybody would ever really do other than to just show it off for this one time. Just the reality. It's like a NASCAR, you know, in real life. Uh, they're cool, but you can't drive a NASCAR on the street, guys. They're terrible. They got no safety equipment. They're not road legal, but they're cool. This is basically the same thing. 
just really just don't care final word um i'm not even gonna read this it's not worth my time so far we don't have a single gas or nitro in this magazine i am beginning to get upset we got Tekken ESCs, some of the best ESCs out there. I remember the true uh, RC elitists like over 10 years ago. Uh, these are the ESCs those guys used to run. And man, they were happy. They they loved these things. And of course, uh, they wanted you to know that they were running the Tekken. You know, that's that's how it was. We got uh, Dubro. Dubro makes very good uh, hardware for RCs. Servos, don't care about this. So far, it is not looking good. Okay, electric motors. Oh my God, another tiny damn Tamiya. In the last issue, they had another tiny Tamiya. I think it was like the comical something. I don't even care what it was. Now we got the comical Hornet. I don't know what this trend with Tamiya and like making these tiny little short wheel bay chassis are. The fact that it's a Tamiya is cool, but in terms of its actual performance, even compared to this vintage HPI Micro RS4, this thing would embarrass this over here. It, it just, honestly, it would just destroy it. By the way, mine is running a crazy brushless motor inside. So don't think that it's uh, it's bad. We got light poles, we got Deans in here. Uh, we got four wheel drive, we got belts. This thing is, you know, a 25 year old uh, state of the art RC that could actually uh, race today if this class was still popular. Of course it's not, so yeah, uh, that's the end of that. Yeah, so once again, bunch of plastic, um, Short wheelbase, uh, I, I I just don't care. I gotta say, I do like these stock ESCs that Tamiya includes with their RCs. I run this in my lunchbox. Very good, they run brushed or brushless motors. Uh, they do overheat if you run a 3S on it, but you got a couple minutes at least of a run before before it goes into thermal protection mode. Yeah, look at that, just, just don't care. Nothing here, looks like we're almost at the end. Mario Kart, yeah, okay, so another kid ad. And this is it. Guys, I'm not happy. I think you know what this means. My old vintage nitro motor was the only nitro or gas uh, item we've seen in this review so far. I'm gonna go outside right now, put this on the grill, throw some nitro fuel on it, and burn this. All I asked for was one gas or nitro article or an advertisement in this entire issue. Well, the last magazine here could not deliver. You see what happened to it? It got burned with damn 30% nitro fuel and these matches right here. Our fire marshal for today is this classic team associated nitro TC3. You could yell two speed baby when driving this. Can you yell that with any of the RCs in this magazine? No. You know why? Because they don't have a single two-speed. All they got is a bunch of plastic parts and cool looking bagel bodies. Who cares about that? I open up the damn page and what do I get? A colorful little mini bus. Should that piss me off? Let's do another random page flip. What do I get? Some guy in a hat. I don't care about that. I want to see some of this. I want to see some of that. Normally, I'd be starting her up. I will be putting some fuel in this and saying start her up. I hope it fires up. But you know what? Nothing in here is ever going to fire up or start up. Therefore, we have to ignite it with some nitro fuel. I just don't see any other solution. Time to do it. I'm going to put some nitro on here. Now, last time this magazine didn't want to burn. You know, literally burned this twice. So you know what? We're going to do a little bit of both. We're going to open it up as well. Put some here in the middle. It's not going to get away that easy. I'm going to saturate it with some nitro fuel. And then throw a damn match into here. Let's get the nitro fuel safe out of the way. I'm gonna put it somewhere far away. This is the dangerous part actually when you first throw on the match. Oh, there it is. We got ignition, baby. Look at that. That's what happens. It's going good. Oh yeah, I can feel the flames. Nitro fuel burns very, very hot. Problem is the one next to it doesn't wanna ignite. Come on, you know you want to burn. You don't deserve to be read by anybody in the Nitro Gang. I'm sorry, that's just the reality. All right, the fire finally spread. You're doing a good job here, TC3, I'm proud of you. You're gonna get a damn all medal after this. Look at that. That's what happens. This is how you're supposed to read 
this modern version of this magazine, guys. You don't want to touch it. You want to use grill barbecue tools because this stuff, if it touches you, you're going to become a damn electric fan. We don't want that happening, you know? Oh, Traxxas on the back cover. Should I burn this? I don't know. It's kind of pissing me off as well. That's right. See you later, Traxxas Max. Well, this is purely ironic. Usually, the LiPo batteries in these electrics explode and burn, but right now, I can't even get this whole damn picture of the Max to go on fire. Only the edges of the damn magazine. Pure irony, right? This is gonna be a segment on my channel going forward. Each issue will get the extreme Nitro Gang review. If I don't see a single gas or nitro in here, it's gonna get burned like this. I don't want to have this magazine back in circulation. Now there's actually an auction right now on eBay for over a hundred different RC magazines, like from the 90s, from the early 2000s. You guys want me to buy it? Put in the comments, I'll place a bid and we'll get ourselves some classic vintage RC history. Thanks so much for watching. See you later. <laughs> So fine, but her breath is like Whoa. She says she wanna dance, but she don't know how to Whoa. I'm iced out, ooh, looking like a star Whoa. Her name is Jenny, ooh, bitch don't have no panties Whoa. I'm Steph Curry, when I hit the